Hi guys, a couple of things before we take the water jet boat out and try it again. First of all, I got Ed Maynard's name wrong in the original video. I called him Bill. Uh, that's an old UK uh, film star, Bill Maynard. Um, so yes, it was Ed Maynard who inspired this original boat. And then in the comments, Rob Santen had asked whether we get any reverse thrust from the pump if we run it backwards. And I originally said no, but I've tried it, and we do get some thrust if we run it in reverse. Obviously, the pipe has to be underwater to suck the water backwards through it. But I was surprised. I didn't think we would. There is some, so I've actually repositioned the pipe uh, for two reasons. One, I was getting a little bit of a kink at the top here because I'd bent it too tightly to get down here. So I've put a bit of plastic there to stiffen it. And then two, I've pointed it down at a forwards angle so that we do get some benefit from the reverse thrust. We might just possibly be able to reverse the boat away from an obstruction or something. So there we go. Reverse thrust as long as the pipe's underwater and Ed Maynard, not Bill Maynard. Sorry Ed. Hi guys. I've come out to Abbott's Pool. We're in the shade here, so there's very little wind, just a tiny gust, but it's also quite cold. And the plan is to test the water jet boat over a measured distance. So I'm going to go over there, put the boat in the water, and just run it all the way across to here, and then swap the jet over so we have either under the water or over the water, and try it again, and then have a look at the video playback and see how long it takes. Because a good long distance like that should give us a fairly easy measurement. I've brought along the rescue boat just in case we need it. But I'll set up the water jet boat. Bit of a disaster today. Took the water jet boat out to a nice calm pond to actually test it and there was weed in the water, at least I think it's weed, whatever it is it's got sucked into the pump and we lost all thrust. So I'm going to see if I can take the pump apart and clear the muck out. Let's have a look. It's little star drive screws. 
motor got so hot it's actually loosened the hot glue that was holding it in place. Okay, what's inside? Well, nothing obvious. Hmm. Because it might be in the... Ah, there we are. <laughs> you see that? That's like a pine needle. Oh well, and that's all it was. I was expecting to find something much larger stuck in there. Oh well, easy fix. I don't know whether we ought to try and put something over the inlet to protect it in future. Piece of gauze of some sort. That's interesting to see how small that hole is as well. That's tiny. Oh well, put it back together. Can we remember how it went back together? Closest water is the kitchen sink, so we'll use that. Well, that's still not very impressive. Why is that so poor? Sounds like there's still something jammed in there somewhere. Just try and run it in reverse for a minute. Oh yes, we seem to have blown some muck out into the water now. I probably can't see that on the camera. So, we will have to have another go. Just bring the camera over. That's the stuff that was in the pipe that's come out when we've blown it backwards now. <laughs> 